We are speaking with the director of a new documentary that explores what it is like to walk in the shoes of the specially trained firefighters who fight wildfires. I am joined tonight by Gabrielle Kirkpatrick Mann, the film's director. The doc is called Hot Shots. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gabriel. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great because now I'm in Tennessee. I'm not in the middle of these giant wildfires like I was for about a decade. Yeah, that, that's a pretty intense way to be living your life, not only if you are documenting it, but certainly for the people who are fighting these wildfires and really putting themselves on the line. So for those who don't know, what is a hot shot? Well, yeah, a hot shot is, frankly, they've got the most dangerous job and they earn their name for going to the, the most remote and the hottest parts of the fire. If you can imagine, they have to put out a fire with no water. So they literally go in, they cut out the fuels, you know, all the plants that catch fire. They cut it out by hand and they burn it off. It's just them in the middle of nowhere with all this fire surrounding them. They're, they're kind of like the Navy SEALs of wildland fire. And that's what made it so difficult to film this movie. They're almost impossible to find. They're way out in the remote wilderness where we don't see them. And I think that's part of the reason why nobody really knows what they do. But ultimately, they're the ones who put out these huge fires. Because once they start going, water isn't going to do anything. Yeah, you know, I, I've met a hotshot before. I, I went to grad school with one, and I was so interested by the lifestyle. It's different than what you might expect for, for a typical local firefighter. I mean, these are people from around the country traveling into the danger zone. Uh, what fascinated you about them, and what led you to make this film? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. Hotshots are very, very unique, and they have a very unique culture. And there is sort of a sacredness to their culture. You know, the original hotshot crews were actually staffed up by Zuni Indians because, of course, the Indians have a tradition of about 10,000 years of putting fire on the ground and managing the forest in a way that sort of escaped us. And hotshots are the literal torchbearers of this ancient tradition. And so they're the only ones who are like putting fire on the ground. They, they're, they're kind of dirty. They dress differently. They've got beards. They camp out in the wildlands for weeks at a time. It's an incredibly strenuous job. And so they don't carry themselves the same way. They're not going into structures. They're hiking up miles and miles and miles into the wilderness. So it's, it's extremely arduous. And just the threat of the fire alone, it's incredible. And what's, what's really shocking, though, is that Congress is about to cut their pay in half. In fact, they don't even classify them as firefighters. They call them forestry technicians, which is this bizarre bureaucratic thing that enables them to pay them a fraction of what they do for the folks who you traditionally see in those red trucks. Hmm. Uh, so these are the ones who are putting out these massive fires. They're about to get their pay cut in half. And I'm afraid that we're going to lose Hot Shots entirely. And so I'm afraid that Hot Shot, the movie, is actually going to end up becoming like a time capsule. Wow, I mean, that seems incredible when you consider the issue, the apparently growing issue of wildfires. I mean, here we are in the Midwest, we're in the Detroit area, and we are seeing wildfire smoke throughout the summer coming from Canada. So do you feel like this is there's an urgency for people to understand what is happening and to help these hotshots? Wildfires are the biggest threat to the West. I mean, this is the biggest threat to the United States. We lose thousands of homes every single year to wildfires and unlike you know tornadoes and hurricanes we can actually stop it if we get rid of the fuels and if we manage our forests properly with prescribed fire the way that hot shots do we can actually prevent what's the biggest threat i mean you know we spend a lot of money on foreign wars and foreign aid we're always sort of afraid of of these big external threats but wildfire is the biggest threat and so if we lose these hot shots we're going to be in serious trouble and and don't think that michigan is out of the woods because of course the biggest fires in history happened in the Midwest in 1871. These tend to be 150 year cycles, so you guys are due. So if we're not paying attention to this, it's the kind of thing that we sort of forget about, but it can hit us and hit us very, very hard. As we've seen, especially in recent years, it's just been devastating. So we need to take it very seriously. Yeah, and there is a Michigan mention in the film, right? Didn't you address the thumb fire? And that, that was in the 1800s, correct? Yeah, in fact, it's probably the craziest day in the history of, uh, you know, combustion in the history of the planet besides the Big Bang, because not only did you have the Thumb Fire, the Great Michigan Fire, uh, you had the Peshtigo Fire in Wisconsin. These were the worst fires in the history of humankind. Nothing's come close to it. And yet we don't even know about them generally, because on the same exact day in 1871, the Great Fire of Chicago, 
took all the headlines. So the, the thing is, this is a national problem. It's just a matter of frequency. And frankly, the longer you go without a fire, the more danger you're in because there's more fuels on the ground. And more fuels means bigger bomb. So just because you don't see it every day, don't let that make you complacent. As, as Canadians are seeing, these boreal forests, every 150 years, they get wiped out. And so you got to be ready for it. Yeah. I know you put so much work, years of work, into this film. Uh, any final thoughts that you want to leave people with before they head out to go find that doc? Well, this is a, a very unique film about very unique people. Um, it was a labor of love, and it was very difficult to get. Nobody has ever made a movie about hot shots before because it's almost impossible to find them. And I, I nearly killed myself trying to get it. So hopefully you all enjoy it. Take it seriously, share it with your friends, because you know these, these are the folks who are looking after our natural resources in this country, and uh, they deserve better. And so I hope people watch it and connect with these elusive beasts, and um, maybe call their congressmen and encourage them to try to pass a little bit more uh, uh, paycheck protection for these folks, because they deserve it. Yeah. Well, the video looks incredible. The cinematography is beautiful. Uh, where can people find the documentary? Right now, it's available on Amazon Prime, Apple, Vudu, Google Play. You can also support us directly and go to hotshotmovie.com. You can stream it there. And we also link to all those streaming services that we're all used to. All right. Looking forward to it. Gabriel Kirkpatrick, man, thank you so much for joining us and for all you've done with the film. Thank you so much.